It's time for Wonderful, Wonderful Adventure, Adventure Now, Now Akita. Akita, the Onsen Edition. Ah, uh, yes, some of you might have felt a little twinge of nostalgia Sound hearing that troubles. intro. For the next three days, we're going to be in northern Japan in mm -hmm. the Akita Prefecture. We're going to be taking in the fall leaves and doing some onsen hopping. We're actually 550 kilometers away from our home in yep. Kichijoji, but getting here was actually kind of easy. Very easy to get here. It felt really overwhelming at first because we've never done this before. The local bus was easy to catch. And Ibo was great because it was the last stop. There were between seven to 15 different onsen to choose from. We went for one called Ganiba. And the only way I could ever remember that was like, Ganiba, Ganiba. Dun, dun, dun. I did this dance move because it it's, it's a crab. It's a, but this is a very rustic, typical ryokan. It's a Japanese style hotel. Yeah. We ended up sleeping on the ground. They put together the futons for you. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what our bed looks like. If you could just open the door. Just... Can you just open the door? Mm. It looks cozy. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice and cozy. We had typical Japanese meals. So yeah. if you're not okay with eating a lot of Japanese food, this could be tough for you. You might want to bring something with you. We wanted to live stream this, but I don't think we can. Look at this tremendous dinner here. We have this beautiful nabe here with some gorgeous mushrooms. We have a whole aji with a stick of ginger. Is it aji or ayu? Ayu. Ayu. Ayu, I'm pretty sure. Ayu, ayu. Here we have some gorgeous crab for 10. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's like macaroni and cheese with potatoes and crab. Well, I am enjoying my dinner. 
I'm enjoying you talk about food while I sit here <laughs> suffering that I didn't have three. Camera. We are the only people here eating. Everybody finished eating. When we checked in here, they said we can choose when we're going to eat dinner at six, seven, or eight o'clock. And we were like, we don't usually eat dinner that early. We'll go for seven o'clock. And then we were starving. But the good news is that we were like, nah, 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 nah. now we can take our time. I like picked up my fish and I was like, Argh, ah. I picked up my rice. I was like, Bleh. I actually drank some soup and it was so hot that I physically spat it out into my bowl. I was like, this is no why I can't take around. it in nice places. No one was around. Good job, Martina. I am literally gonna die I'm if so I don't hungry. have any more food. What am I gonna do with my life? Well, I'm so hungry. Here's my suggestion to sign. He goes downstairs to the front desk and he goes, Gohan Arimaska. And Gohan has a double meaning. Because Gohan means food, but it also means like literally rice. No matter what win win scenario, they look at him and they go, Gosh, this guy is huge. And he goes, Remember when I played with your dog earlier? Oh. <laughs> What's that? Hello. Front desk of the onsen is run by a very smart dog. Nice doggy. Oh. Oh, are you coming up? Hello. Oh, Hello. I said hello. 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 Oh. <laughs> and they'll go, listen up, Gaijin. Go on, Arimas. But sure, sure, it's a secret. And then they'll give him extra rice or food. If it doesn't work, they'll say, oh, yeah, we've got those snacks in the corner. And then Simon will go, ah, look, Arimas. And then he'll shuffle on over. So we have another problem here. We have no food. And we only have five TV channels, and one of the TV channels is a food channel. Two channels. Two channels! This is another this is a cooking <laughs> food show. And this one has been exclusively about Saba. So So we have two shows for what can we do? We can't eat and we can barely watch TV. This will list. This all is our menu. What's menu? room service? Oh, let's check room service. There's beer. Beer. There's whiskey. whiskey. We can have shochu. Shochu. I mean, various kinds of Yes. Shochu. Then here is a keto local yeah. stuff. So this is like Daiginjo sakes. Yeah. And then we can have like a sake flight of like three or so. And yeah. then this is two kinds of wine. So uh, if we're hungry, then, what do we do? And that's it, actually. That's so, it. So. No food for us. So beer it is. I think they just want us to go to sleep. Onsens were divided up. We had the men's and the women's onsen. We also had an amazing onsen. They had mixed gender onsens, yep. which were outdoors and absolutely gorgeous, where you could sit in the hot water yep. and look at the leaves falling into the water. Oh, man. <sighs> well, that right there was an amazing experience. It's so cold when you step outside. It was like 11 degrees, 12 degrees. I stepped outside in my little robe and I'm like, oh God, it's so cold, Samui. And then I get into the water and now I'm just a furnace. I'm dripping with sweat. This cold doesn't feel cold anymore. Just fresh and crisp. This is an amazing, amazing experience. After going to an onsen, as you know, you need to have some milk. I have a nice chocolate milk here. Ooh, coffee milk. That was what I was expecting. Very happy.
Now, to avoid any kind of confusion or complications, before we came here, we actually called up yeah. and we asked the onsens if they're okay with tattoos, and they all are. There were no issues. Not every onsen is like that. We've called other areas mm -hmm. of Japan that did have issues with their tattoos, but this area was totally cool with it. Yeah. Get naked with my tattoos. Mm. this? It's a tattoo. Do you like my tattoo? It's a tattoo. That's my tattoo song. It's a cool song. Enough talking. Yeah. Let's go explore this. You ready? Let's go for it, Ducky. Ready? Na -na 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 -na. You forgot how to do it. I think you're supposed to go right, not supposed to go left. Na -na 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 -na. No, I mean, come back here. We're supposed to be in the middle and we go. Na -na 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 -na. Okay, so we got this little onsen pass, multi pass, multi pass. And you can get all the onsens and go to, go to different ones located in the mountain. Onsen hopping, what, what? So we are at Gamiba Onsen. We're going right now to this one. Which is the most the famous one. Tsuru no Yu Hot Spring. This one is very famous. Now we're gonna do all the onsen hopping. We're gonna try to go to as many onsens as possible. I read as a rule of thumb, you're only supposed to go to like three onsens a day. We're gonna try to go to seven. I'm gonna try to go to two. So <laughs> okay. you go to your seven. Once we go to each one, we could use these as a little postcard. Oh, that's so okay. great. Arigatou gozaimasu. Our okay, so we are at arguably the most popular onsen in this Akita area, and I can understand why. This is a scenic dream. Point your camera anywhere, and you will have a beautiful picture. Yes. Everywhere around you, it's stunning. And Namja Yoja. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, all over your pants. No. Ah. Caught it. Got it. Okay. All right. Beer time. Hey, memories of a lifetime, Captain Beer Pants. Hey, girl, thank you for going on this adventure with me. Thanks for organizing it for me, Dexter. This is this is wonderful. Stop spilling my beer. Oh, fuck. It's open. Did you uh, know that, by the way? It wasn't yeah, sure okay, you fine. Gee, right. it's trying to have a oh, moment gosh. here. In that moment. case, you're not going to get any of my tsuruman that I bought for us to snack on. If you keep I'm trying to be romantic and sh you're like, I love you, girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to eat this by myself. Ducky, I got to say, this is hands down my favorite onsen I've ever been to. Not just because it looks beautiful, but because the actual water is so lovely. I feel so nice right now. So when you come in here, on the left side, there's men and women's private. Then there's the mixed gender one. And then there's the men and women's change room. The women's side is totally private. So don't worry, you go in there, you change. It's got an indoor hot spring. It's got an outdoor one, which is gorgeous. And there was only one other lady there. She peeked over to the mixed gender side and she says, do you want to try it together? And I was like, Kawaii. I'm too scared because like, as I was walking to the change room, there's mm. just men and I'm like, there's so I didn't, I was feeling scared and shy. Anyhow, so she said, we're gonna open the door and people can definitely see. So you take your little manor towel, which it's like a tiny one, and you just kind of cover your bit. And as you enter, you kind of roll it up as you go. Mm -hmm. So we did it and she went first. Such a brave woman and she inspired me to go too. And as soon as you're in the water, no one can see anything. Like two inches below the water, then you, it's completely murky. Yeah, and then to get out, I showed everyone my butt ski. I did, I just did, did it. it. I came towards a little like swim away exit to the women, picked up my towel and used it just to cover my breasticles, and then I didn't know how to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> and I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> Onsen tip, the hotel that you're gonna be staying at will provide you a towel for the onsen, but when you go onsen hopping, bring that towel with you because the other onsens ain't gonna provide you with. So if you go there, you get wet, you're just gonna have to blow dry yourself with your mouth, and that's gonna be weird, it's gonna take forever. <sighs> 
Hope that didn't screw up the focus mode and that we're gonna be out of focus the whole time, we'll find out. So I have to tell you, I was feeling like really hesitant about this trip mm -hmm. um, because I don't do well with travel and I'm scared about sleeping in places that I'm uncomfortable with. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm worried about things, because I'm uncomfortable like sleeping in Physically different beds. Yeah. yeah, and it was my, my pillow. My pillow was full of beans. But my pillow, beans. Beans. But after we came here, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this is totally worth it. I, I absolutely love this. I'm glad I could convince you to come, girl. Come I on vacation with my ducky. Because we don't have kids. This is great. Na 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 na. And a milk bubble. <laughs> very happy. Very happy. <laughs> We're very happy here. <laughs> this is milk is so good as well. This milk is Hong great Kong milk. Mm. No. Okay. Canadian. 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 Ah, this is easy. This is lovely. This is summer. <laughs> See, you again. See, you See you again. again. I met a great guy yeah. uh, in the water. Met a great Came over guy and in talked the water. to me. First time I ever spoke with somebody naked, but you know, there we are. And he asked me where I was from, and he's actually from Tokyo as well. Mm -hmm. And he says that he drove up here, he didn't take the Shinkansen, Whoa. but he didn't take any of the highways. So he just drove for 12 hours. Yeah. And he's just a really nice, happy guy. Yeah. And this was just a really, especially like being like foreigner going into the water, like with my tattoos. I know that this place approves of tattoos, yeah. but not every Japanese person does because there are lots of old people here. Yeah. Maybe they don't. So he made me feel very comfortable and welcome mm -hmm. even though we were both completely naked. Well I had the exact same experience right? Yeah. Like I mean I entered this hot spring it was just one Japanese woman and me and I thought like I don't want to make her uncomfortable so I tried to get in the water with my tattoos as quickly as possible but yep. instead she's the brave one who comes over and says I can't do it alone. Yeah. You know and I'm like you know and I'm like oh. so I squeeze dead. my milk. <laughs> Oh, Ducky, you're too strong boy. I'm absolutely loving this trip, and we've only gone to two onsens, but hands down, this is the most beautiful onsen I've ever been to in my life. You Just know what, you know what else? beautiful colors. Thatched roof. Cottages! So what happened here, huh? When you are in town, you have to respect the local customs. You don't want to be a rude gaijin foreigner. So I had to get their specialty. They made ice cream in the shape of a little doggy. What kind of a doggy? Akita doggy put some nice buttery ice cream. Hey, question for you. Mm-hmm. You were like, oh, you don't want to be a rude foreigner, you want to obey the laws, but I believe that you danced from that station all the way here singing your ice cream song. <laughs> I have some ice cream. Oh no. I have some ice cream. Do you want to try some? I do, Captain Mustachio. Well, guess what? You can't. Another onsen tip. So most onsens I've been to, they have like a shower area where you like soap up and scrub, rinse off. If you want to know all those tips, we already made a video about onsen etiquette. If you're coming to Japan and you want to use an onsen, we're going to give you a little guide so you don't make a fool of yourself and you know exactly what to do. But two out of the three we went to actually had no shower. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? You just got in and I found that quite shocking, but it was acceptable. So if you do see a soap up station, you should soap up and clean up before you get in. And if you don't, I mean, just get on in there. This is what I come out to find, huh? Hey, real nice. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one because it's the colder one. Of the wind. I think so. I cannot remember that song still. 
as you shouldn't. How? Hi, Becky, will you reenact something real quick with me? Okay. It does involve Twilight. I think I'm gonna pass. But. Bella, we should never get married, Bella. This is a pedophilic relationship. Okay, well that's not what I wanted us to reenact at all. I gotta say, you you got the you got the killer angle. Do I? Yeah, you've got like a little mm -hmm. sunset glistening on your face. Is that right? Yeah. You should be on camera. You're the pretty one. Um. Isn't this great? It's like, it's been I see the little ashes to ashes. spider webs all across yep. it. And look at all the stuff growing out of it. It's been reclaimed by nature. I know you didn't subscribe to this channel for artsy bench shots, but shot it. Shot it. You're getting it. So that's it for our wonderful adventure to Akita. Before coming here, we actually knew very, very little about the place. We did not that much research, no. but we just wanted to try to do something impulsive and we had a tremendous time. I, I loved it here. And what was amazing is that I think Japan is so good at, at connecting things. Like we were like, how are we gonna get here? How are we gonna get there? Mm -hmm. And as you saw at the opening, the train took us to here, to there, yeah. the bus, and then we arrived and we were like, oh, it's, it's, that easy mm -hmm. so i think you guys should definitely try this kind of an adventure this is probably a really long video thanks for sticking around to the end and now for some more with the bloopers yeah. and don't forget to check out our uh, onsen etiquette video if you want to know about I'm onsen take you off like before wait the key wait come back to the frame i have to say something what else you put me down you smell like rotten eggs. Oh. Because you allowed, this is supposed to, you're supposed to soak with the onsen and leave it on your skin. But gosh, he smells stinky. <laughs> oh, it's a good stinky. It's a sulfur stinky. It's a great way to end the video. Thanks everyone, I smell like shit. <laughs> Not like shit, like eggs. Eggs are delicious. I know you can read my mind. Never really knew that she could dance like this. She makes a man who wanna speak Spanish. Como se le da? Bonita. Me casa. Shakira, Shakira.